Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about... I got on my knees and started licking at them. Oh, hell yeah, bitch. I think I'm fucking dealing with like six pounds of shit on a daily basis. Dust off your zong, dude. Here we go. Hey. Wow. All right. <laughs> Woo. And we're... We're back. 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 We're back. Back. Well, you we're missed back. it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You got a bunch of them, huh? We were all kind of doing it together as a group, and you kind of... you. You held out and you wanted your own time to shine. I respect right. that about you, Blake. Yep. I'm 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 uh trying to just kind of segue into my own personal podcast where it's never any speaking from me, it's just sound bites. Uh, hey, I'd listen. And just you? Yep. That's what This is important. Yeah. This is important. That's what you bring to the table uh mostly for our podcast as well. So yeah. I think you'd be no pretty spe- good at it. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing. Yeah. It kind of, you know, I'm, from listening to our podcast, uh, my attention kind of dips when you're telling a story or doing something. Yeah. But once you hit that button, fire, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. It's true. Hey, and guys, guess what? We're back. <laughs> We're back. back. And who, who is that? Uh, that was some guy from like the Longhorns. I just Googled We're Back. Oh, that's oh. tight. Just some college... <laughs> football player <laughs> yeah they like got back to some or gymnast i don't know he could be any any it team. could be any sport in texas but yeah i think he was i think they were back at the at the rings they were competitors mm-hmm. once again oh man mm-hmm. the rings look so fucking hard i don't know about those things oh they look hard as hell yeah yeah i don't uh, think i could do that how can we talk about how jack but we are talking football correct no we're talking about gymnast real quick how jacked um, yeah <laughs> are gymnasts <laughs> honestly like their shoulders and biceps <laughs> are crazy yes uh, yes well they hold themselves out like the iron cross on the gym or whatever or on the rings is fucking insane it dude. is next level have you ever been able to do that has anybody ever been able to do that anyone well yeah um, i can do that oh okay no like here out of the four of us the four of us yeah no 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 no, no. yeah me neither i today was just to, weird we're talking about this because just today i had a fitting and uh the the woman doing the fitting was like and what is a fitting for people outside of hollywood a fitting is uh, when you're uh, putting on clothes and they decide a costume yeah a costume if you will wardrobe, wardrobe. for a tv show or a movie and you got to go put on a ton of clothes and then, then the producers decide what you're going to wear mm-hmm. and i was doing that and she goes did you what sports did you play growing up and i'm like you know baseball or whatever and she mm-hmm. goes you look like you could have been a really good gymnast and i was Ooh. like oh, yeah. do tell <laughs> thank you <laughs> what part of your body was screaming gymnast i was think it my, the shoulder? i think it's the these sh- thick ass shoulders and back and thighs and butt area dude mm. i got some spring it's like all that part it's all mm. those parts it looks like i should be more athletic than i am i can't mm. Uh, jump more than four inches without it hurting when I land. <laughs> right. Yeah. The impact. The impact takes it out of you. You should just like collapse when you come back down. <laughs> I do normally. Honestly. Always <laughs> into like a cool lounge position on the ground. Well, I have to Audi. have a big fall in the new uh, season of Je- uh, Righteous Gemstones, mm-hmm. and I have to fall like twenty feet. And holy moly! They're like. Yeah, we're just worried because you're going to be landing on top of people that you might twist an ankle or twist a knee or something. I'm like, I'm actually worried about that because I've had literally five ACL surgeries. Right. Uh, So let's be careful with that. They're like, yeah, we will. And I'm like, all right. Well, what are the logistics of that though? Like, yeah, what's going on here? You know, I mean, I don't want to give anything away because it's kind of a big stunt. Yeah, spoiler. No jokes. No crouching tiger wire work? What are we talking? Yeah, there is going to be some wire work. They're going to lower me. But is it crouching tiger wire work? I, uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Is the dragon (laughs) head? Okay. (laughs) I want to say, I want to say we're back, but I'm I'm not sure how much crouching tiger uh, is involved. 
<laughs> okay. You want to keep the dragon hidden? I got mm-hmm. it. I want to say it's we're back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're back, everybody. Feeling really good about well, it. Well, thank you. I want to thank mm. you for the the viewers for sticking with us. We, we dropped a few, uh, you know, best ofs, and a lot of people wait until they have like a hundred episodes in the tank to do a best mm-hmm. ofs. Right. Not us. We had too much fire. Yeah. We had oh, yeah. too much hot fire waiting in the cut. So we had to uh, throw that back at you 35, 40 episodes deep. Just in case you forgot. I know I did. When I listened to it, I was like, I kind of forgot this little fun little run right here. I did a listen back, and I'm like, why aren't we mean to Kyle anymore? Yeah, Yeah. it was really fun when we were mean to Kyle. Well, what do you got for me? What do you got for me, baby? (laughs) Bring it on today. What do you got? Fuck it. Well, I think what I'm going to start doing (laughs) is just not paying attention to you. Fuck it, bitch. What do you got? (laughs) Nah, I'm just not going to listen. And when you talk, I'm going to just ignore you. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, that's, that's what actually you're do? really mean. That's wow. like the meanest thing you could do. A whole new mean angle. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yikes. Do you guys hear something? Uh, <laughs> there's like some kind of a fly buzzing around me. <laughs> can we have the room? <laughs> hey, Kyle, can we have the room real quick? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm going to go take a nap. I'm exhausted. <laughs> He's exhausted, everybody. Anyway, um, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm very exhausted. Well, I do. I want to say thank you to uh, the listeners sticking with us. I had uh, a family issue. Uh, my fat, my father, my father, <laughs> my, uh, fat, my fat dad, my <laughs> fat dad. <laughs> my he is fat a little now. He just recently gained like twenty pounds. I'm like, this no. is great. Yeah, he got he got a little fat all, all right. of a sudden. We love it. He's living. He was a little hefty back in the day. Then they, your parents both got swole. Back in the day, then he lost like. 50, 60 pounds and got all right. shredded up. Right. And yep. then he's recently put on like 20 pounds, but it's good because he nice. just got the cancer. Mm-hmm. So he got the cancer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spit take on Blake on that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> he got the cancer and uh, the doctor's like pumped on his little extra pudge. He's like, oh, hell yeah, bitch. And this, I'm, I'm quoting him verbatim. Uh, oh, hell <laughs> yeah. yeah, bitch. These are the best people. This is a doctor in Venice. <laughs> What's up? I'm Dr. Malibu. This is a cool doctor. Oh, hell yeah, bitch. (laughs) The same dude I got my weed card from. (laughs) Yo, hell yeah, bitch. Oh, look at this chunky mug. You got the cancer. (laughs) You're going to beat the shit out of this cancer, Braj. Hold up. So why why is a little pudge good? Because you usually end up losing a lot of weight Mm -hmm. when you're, uh, when, because you are sick and you don't want to eat and you, or you can't physically eat. Because it came out. Because of the chemo right. and the radiation. Yeah, because the chemo knocks you out, right? Yeah. That's the right. thing. The chemo's right. really rough. And his tumor is like in a lymph node. We really got lucky. I don't know. I've, I talked to the guys a little bit individually, but his cancer, we got really lucky. Because usually with lung cancer, you don't find it until it's too late. Right. And so we got lucky in the fact that his voice went out. And it has to be in a certain yeah. lymph node. They said it's like the fourth lymph node in your neck. Right. And there's a bunch of them there. And it has to be in that one specific... Yeah, there's. I think there's 12. I think, yeah, give or take a shit ton is what the doctor said. Oh, yeah, mm. for sure. <laughs> Dr. Venice. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Brajola. It's like the dude from Idiocracy. Yeah, it yeah. pressed on a... Um, a nerve, and then his voice went out. And they were like, mm-hmm. that's the only way that we would have, have checked his lungs right now. Yeah. So the cancer was literally on his nerves? His cancer was on his on his last nerve. Wow. Yes, wow. points! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this cancer's getting on my nerves. That is crazy, though. When, when I heard that, that about his voice, I Googled it. I was like, I had never heard that before, but that is such a... Damn, man. Just lucked out. Yeah. That's huge. Got super lucky, and we got him in a good hospital. And, you know, the last few weeks have, were fucking crazy because my my parents are just, you know, they just love where they live. They live in Lake of the Ozarks, and they are like, yeah, we'll just do it here. People beat cancer all over the place. You know, We don't have to go to a good place. And thank God I was <laughs> able to be there with them that week, and I didn't have to uh, work that week. We j- yeah. It just lucked out that I had that hiatus, and I was able to uh, convince them to go to – a great hospital. So they're in MD Anderson, which is in Houston, which is ranked number one for cancer and cancer research. And That's so awesome. they're they're doing all kinds of cool shit that uh, mm-hmm. I'm excited about. So nice. uh, big ups to Dennis D. Get him. Dennis yep. D. Give him hell, fight, brother. Fight that mm-hmm. good fight. 
And a yeah, big man. fuck you to all the doctors in the Ozarks. Yeah, yeah I mean, honest. I mean, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Shit on yeah, no, fuck those guys. That's the, that's the guy who you're that? quoting who's like, you got fucking cancer, dude. Okay, Dr. Ozarks, thank you. You got the big C. We're going to Houston. <laughs> that's crazy, man. My dad wore a t-shirt uh, that says, Houston, we got a problem his first day. <laughs> did he really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. of course he did, man. <laughs> we were out taking a walk, and, we, and I'm like, oh, dad. Because I kept saying that. We kept saying that. Um, uh, when we were going to Houston, where it's like, right. Houston, we got a problem. I like that. And then we went and saw the t shirt, like in just a store, and he's like, I gotta buy it. Because his yes. voice is all fucked up now. He sounds absolutely insane. He, he actually feels fine. Your impression sounds like how it, you've always done his impression. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, normally he's like, but now right. he's like, he's that down here. And right. so he sounds worse than he feels. Like he doesn't feel bad yet. So like right. people when they see when they like talk to him on the phone they're like oh my god any right. day now you know right. it's, it sounds way worse than it actually is does he like that attention uh, <laughs> no. like, we're not don't do not Facetime me he's got the shirt you gotta call me I don't think he does I mean I, I think he likes that people you know are rooting for him and and shows that everyone loves him as much as they do of course uh, but uh, I think it's like weird for him for, to like talk to like super old friends that he hasn't talked to in like probably 20 years and then right. they call yeah. and they're like yeah so uh, heard you got uh, the, the cancer and he's like yeah 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 I yeah. got it and then it's just they're they they're just two men that are uncomfortable talking about their feelings. Yeah. So they they sit in silent <laughs> right. for like three minutes on the phone, and they're like, huh. "Well, gotta go. All right, <laughs> you take care. Thanks for calling. You I love take you. care. I love you. When you're when you you're kick like its butt, the- okay? You kick that cancer's <laughs> ass. I love you. Bye. Yeah. When you're <laughs> of that ilk of like, I can't really talk about it. Just sitting there breathing is <sighs> enough. Right. Like, oh, that's enough. Just knowing that your friend uh, cares about you. Well, those yeah. those yeahs get real get real loaded. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the uh, the food there? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. dog shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, hey, I've uh, had better at your mom's house. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Uh, the same old Dennis. Yeah, 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 yeah. But honestly, those were the days. <laughs> those were. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, actually, honestly, best years of my life. Genuinely, <laughs> yeah. hanging with you. Yeah. At that Glo- time, glory we days were- comes on the radio. Radio, they just listen and cry. Glory day. <laughs> what station are you listening to? Yeah. I'm they can't the say I up. love you, so they're like, I love the good old days. Bob Seeger. Yeah. Big drugs. <laughs> I love Chevy. I love ACDC. <laughs> I love Ford over Chevy. Ford found on road to head. Chevy's love- better. Lowe's hardware. <laughs> Ford F-150s. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? I love yeah. you, boats. Are you there? Yeah. I think the reception got bad. Submarines. <laughs> <laughs> yes, points. Oh. Points, I lo- points. I love you, Hall. Oh, I can do anything with those trucks. <laughs> I love you all. I'd uh, help you move to heaven. (laughs) Duh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just not a Penske guy. What can I say? Oh, man. What's Penske? You know what's... That's another, like, truck you can rent. uh, (laughs) Statistic that I heard that is fucking insane. Is this a U-Haul statistic? It's a U-Haul specifically. I read it on the side of a U-Haul. They have those cool little... And that's what I would like to uh, segue to. With those crazy fucking murals that look like you're looking inside the truck. Those things are fucked up. Yeah, those fucked up. Sorry, (laughs) Adam. You think the back door's open? (laughs) Yeah, it's fucked up. They're like... The perspective on them is gnarly. Like, sometimes I'm driving... Yeah, I don't know if it ever really threw me for a total loop. It's throwing me. Hey, Adam, we'll circle back to whatever statistic you have and just talk about these murals for a little bit. Well, it's bizarre. It's it's bizarre. Can we talk about the side of a U-Haul truck, those (laughs) did-you-knows? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, no, and that's where I got this stat, is one out of three people Mm. uh, get cancer. One out of three? Yeah. One out of three people. And I read that on the side of a U-Haul truck. In in the world or in America? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Holy shit. Dude, I I remember when my cousin was going through it, I had the same statistic, and I was like, oh, so you just have to kind of live 
to fight it before you even have it. Yeah, that's and that essentially that's how everybody goes. It's either you you get cancer or something with your heart, and that's how. And I'm like thinking about me and how I'm gonna go. You know, just thinking a lot about like my own mortality. Heart you know, cancer. dealing with my dad's stuff. And Dude. I'm like, uh, oh, my heart's exploding. I got to mm -hmm. be more careful, more tender that, with this sweet bumping bitch in my chest. Yes, you only have one, man. Because, uh, you know, I'm, an, I'm Operation Go Hard all mm -hmm. the time. Right and uh, it's time for me to pump the brakes just a wee bit. Is that what the doctor said to you? He looked at me and he goes, you're Operation Go Hard. I could tell yeah. you're an Operation yeah. Go Hard. You, you need an Operation <laughs> Go Hard. <laughs> We just got your CAT scans back, and it looks like you are in Operation Go Hard. You're going to need to chill out a little bit. You've been in Operation Go Hard for uh, <laughs> quite some time. Yeah, uh, boy. Yeah, you have to kind of you have to kind of combat it just as a, like a preemptive measure. If, yeah. if you look at the statistics, it's like okay. I think it's uh, I'm going to tone down my lifestyle. Uh, 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 twenty percent. Not you know I'm not going to okay. totally change my life for one month. Twenty twenty percent. <laughs> Yeah, and unless my dad, uh, how do you quantify the twenty percent? What does that mean? Unless my dad um, just beats just beats the shit out of cancer, then I'll be like, ah, oh, well, then you know, right? Born to go yeah. hard, then it's then back I, on. You've beat life already, Ben. <laughs> then, then I'm born to go hard. Yeah, baby, we were born to run. <laughs> baby, we were born go hard. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just eating a little better, uh, cutting back on the amount of. Uh, just shit I put in my body. I truly treat it like a garbage can, as you guys know. And, uh, you know, uh, I think I'm going to try to be a little healthier. You know, if there's no accident that kills you, what do you think it's going to be? What's going to kill me? Yeah, or anybody. I don't fucking... Whatever. Oh, like, not, not like a train or whatever, like a car, but like... What's the thing you think's gonna the health? I think something's gonna just drop out of a tree and and hit me on the head, and that's gonna be it. That's an accident, right? That's an mm. accident. What I just said was bearing yeah. an accident. He said yeah. the opposite of that. That's what bearing. No, it was an accident because I didn't. You didn't let me finish. Kyle drops a coconut out of the tree and kills me. <laughs> you got killed by a <laughs> coconut that I dropped out of the tree. I think Kyle's gonna kill me. That's what you came up with to oh. walk that one back. God damn it, Blake! You're just stealing bits from Adam Devine's house party, Hawaii, and yeah. you busted. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and you busted me. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, I didn't know if you remembered them all. I see you. I see you stealing that bit. I didn't even know you. I didn't even know you watched. A lot yeah. of times, I reach back into the house party bag. I dust oh, them no. off. But you guys, I should know. These, hey. are, these are creators of the show here. I'm gonna die because Blake's gonna kill me with these jokes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Points. <laughs> Points. I honestly think I'm most scared of cancer because I yeah. smoked for so long and I quit that. Yeah, you you got it. And yeah. I fucking you know yeah. And I yeah. and I. I mean, what's fucked up about lung cancer is my dad qu truly quit smoking, didn't have a cigarette for the past seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, bef yeah. and before that, there was multiple years where he'd quit for a few years, start again for six months or eight months, and then quit again for a while. Right. So, but he smoked for like, you know, 35, 40 years. Dude, I remember smoking with your dad, like, yeah, broing down, drinking beers, smoking mm. hell of cigarettes. So, this is your fault? No. Well, I mean, we just. Yeah, so this is a little on you. This is your fault. Blood on your hands. Hey, we were both there. We were both there, guys. Everyone keeps reaching out to me and, and different doctors and people that I've been talking to. And they're like, hey, just this isn't about blame. Do not blame your father. And I'm like, no. <laughs> what? <Who? laughs> like what? Like I guess some people. I I mean, to me, it didn't wouldn't even enter my mind to blame him right. because mm -hmm. it's like everyone has makes their own choices, and it's just it's kind of the luck of the of the roll of the dice, you know. The luck of the Irish. Yeah. Uh, it's the it's the it's, anti luck of the Irish. <laughs> it's the bad luck of the Irish. It's the bad luck of the Irish. <laughs> the bad luck of the Irish. <laughs> I love the statistic one out of three, and I just look around this Zoom, and I'm like, who's getting it? And I, I, oh, I, I could have be. little doubt that I, yeah, I, I already consider myself having cancer. It's, <laughs> I, I'm so afraid of it. I'm so afraid of it. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I kind of share that sentiment, Blake. That's like, it's like you have to. I'm like, am I combating it with how I eat? Yeah, I need to for a lot of the times because 
you just don't know. But, but yes, that, that's the other thing is like uh, it even feels like everything you do, you can only take so many preemptive measures. Like, sure, smoking cigarettes, you can't do that. That yeah, right. It's on the packet. It, it, you're going to get cancer if you do it. You have to assume you will. But everything yeah. else is kind of like you walk into Starbucks, there's the little plaque on the wall. Like, things in here give you cancer maybe. It's like right, right. right. Mm-hmm. Like, how, how are you supposed to live your life? And even, There's just so much. You can't. You just. It's just like the big ones. It's just like don't drink like a fish every day don't smoke cigarettes all the time you know mm-hmm. it's just you 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 can, you can, everything in moderation sort isn't of isn't like the is the red meat uh is that uh linked to cancer is that a thing i think that's more heart stuff oh that's the heart yeah i think that's but i mean who who knows what they're putting knows, in these yeah. goddamn cows these days exactly mm. well who knows what they're doing with the manufactured meat these days okay. you know what i mean they're feeding cows to cows like fuck I think I'm going to get mad, mad cow. That would suck. Cannibal burger. I'm an avian flu boy because fuck <laughs> birds. They've heard yeah. me talking about how I hate <laughs> birds and these. these. <laughs> right. They're coming for you. They're like, let's get them. The bird flu's coming for me. I would say probably for me, it would be a, a heart thing, which is scary because I've had members of my family have heart attacks and stuff. Mm-hmm. But also uh, most members of my family end up getting cancer of some sort or another. So Is that right? Same. You've had other yeah. members? Right. Oh, yeah, everybody gets lung cancer, but they all smoked. Wow. Like, when I was a kid, everyone, everybody in my family was smoking. Now, yeah. Not my mom, but, like, all my aunts and uncles and everybody and my grandparents and everyone. It was just, like, I don't remember my grandfather without a cigarette in his hand. Right. You know? So, wait, now I have a, now I'm, cause something's kind of clicking. Do you think that statistic of the one in three people get cancer is because cigarette smoking was so prominent in it could in be. the past that maybe we're just getting all the, all these lung cancers from these cigarette smokers of the you know 60s 70s 80s 90s maybe but also it's not all lung, l- lung cancer it's like any right. type of cancer what's the most common cancer i wonder i think it was lung and, yeah. and now it's tongue tongue cancer. tongue hmm. mm. oh my goodness okay mm. it seems <laughs> real interesting yeah. this mm. is, is it colon working? cancer that I, seems oh, right butt God. cancer right from all I, the dill I don't the, know. What? I feel like what that's, that? a, that's a dirty what? zone. Kyle, shut up. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you, were you talking about pegging? Kyle, shut up. <laughs> what did shut I say? Up, dude. Shut up. Yeah, I think the colon cancer is for sure, without a doubt, if anybody gets colon cancer, huge into pegging. I think that's what that yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, those are the statistics. <laughs> so blame them, like the right. doctor said. Like, Don't blame them. Blame the, the, those people for sure, because yeah. that's what happened. Plug right. it up. Right. Don't let the cancer out. Mm. Yeah, you gotta plug exactly. it up. <clears throat> Everybody, take Everybody take a sip. Take a sip. Yeah, yeah. Beverage, have a cup know, of coffee right now. Really, it's getting too real. We're t- we're talking about too real of things, so we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We think we're like an evolved. We're not. We're not, not like our our dads. We can <laughs> right. talk about stuff. <laughs> really, uh, <laughs> but, nice but we joke about it for ten minutes yeah. and then go. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm feeling it. <laughs> you know yeah. what the now I'm feeling what we were making fun of. I'm yeah. feeling it. Yeah, once you really start to think about it, you're like, oh my God. But yeah, it's, uh, it's probably the dildos, right? <laughs> yeah, probably uh, butt, butt plugs. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway. You, you, guys, how many, you, you yeah. guys believe in heaven? Uh, I sure do. A uh, full plate of wings at Hooters. Hey, oh. Hey, that's my <laughs> heaven. No, seriously, do you believe in heaven? Yeah. 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 I love you. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah I do. Angels are with us. Well, I will say that like I'm not a religious person and I don't uh, really believe in that stuff. But I was like, the, when I first... When I was waiting for the call to find out if it had spread or not, mm-hmm. I was like, well, shit, let's give this a go. And I literally was just like, yeah, um, like in my head, obviously, I'm not speaking. You did the prayer from Forrest Gump. I don't remember that, but I mean. Dear God, make me a bird. Fly, fly away. <laughs> I was like, fly, far, far away. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ah, dang, I didn't steal Jenny's prayer, but I did. I was like, hey, it's uh." <laughs> it's it's been a while. Hey, I know it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey God, it's me, Adam. Hey, uh, just checking in. If you are, if you are, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you spend two minutes just go. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah. You remember yeah. that? Of course you know that. You're of God, course you know that. You, you know that. You're God. Yeah. You created that song. I guess you kind of you wrote gave it. that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to like? Do you have to catch God up a little bit? Like, so uh, last time I talked to you, uh, kind of. I'm on righteous gemstones now. Uh, but <laughs> you know that. Things. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I, uh, sorry about that. It's just Did a I thank joke. you for that? Did I thank you for that part? Uh, anyways, thank you for the part. 
Um, my dad also like didn't ask the doctor any questions. We're all on the FaceTime with the doctor. We can't be in the room because of COVID. And mm-hmm. uh, so we're all FaceTiming in, which is super annoying. And right. it's like half going in and out and it sucked. But uh, so we had a, like a notepad just full of questions that we asked. And, you know, it for like a week straight, we were just like, uh, you know, stockpiling questions to ask. Mm-hmm. And then we ask all the questions. We basically cover everything. And my dad's the one sitting in the room. And then he finally goes, hey, I got a question. And the doctor's like, okay, uh, Mr. Devine. What, what? And he goes, can I smoke weed? Yeah. yeah. Buddy. And, and, okay. and, and I'm like, we're, yeah, we're there's no way it. in hell that you're going to be able to Smoking. smoke <laughs> Smoke weed while you are a lung cancer patient. I was thinking about I was thinking right. about that, and I was like, he can't use a lighter well, for sure. Oh, but guess what, guys? You can. Yeah. The doctor yeah. was like, "Yep." I, I yeah. guess the the carcinogen in oh, marijuana yeah. smoke is like so fucking low that yeah. all the radiation and chemo that they're doing are will obliterate that. Yeah. Uh, when my, you know, and it's science, yeah. but uh, this is Dr. Ozark or who? The thing that you don't want to, <laughs> yeah, a, bro. You, no, this is the re, this is the real doctor at MD Anderson. He's like, all you gotta do is switch to a volcano bag, and you're gonna be cool, man. Yeah, yeah. He knew, he knows the brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he was cool. Yeah, that stuff doesn't mess your lungs up at all. It, you're all good. But you got to be careful because the butane, right? Did you talk to him about the like sucking in the butane? Because I know your dad likes to hit fucking pipes hard, man. Okay. Small well, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, no, we didn't go far, that far down, but... But he's got to get a little wick. You got to <laughs> get him a wick. So like what strain do you... <laughs> yeah. But I am yeah. happy for him because that's what he was like most sad about, like... Yeah, because uh, we were like, "Hey, yeah, probably gonna have to cut down drinking and shit and all that." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah," and he's like, "But I could smoke weed." And I'm like, "I don't think you're gonna be able to." And it just, I could tell how sad that made yeah. him because Bummer. ever since like I was old enough for him to talk to me like an adult, uh, you know, eleven, and uh, mm-hmm. he was t- <laughs> he was telling me, "Will how- you hold this for me when we get pulled over?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is yours. No, it, it, he he had to get drug tested for work all the time because he worked for the railroad. He's a conductor for the railroad, so he right. had to get drug tested. So he's never able to smoke weed his entire adult life, basically. Right. And he loved weed when he was a kid. So when he retired, he was like, oh, fuck yeah. I'm back to getting to smoke weed and living the life that I want to live. And that was only a few years ago now. And just to have that yank from him, I could tell how sad it made him. And I'm, I'm, I was pumped when the doctor was like, Oh hell yeah, bitch! Yeah, so, yeah, not. yeah. This doctor is dope, <laughs> and that's a quote from the doctor. The doctor's super <laughs> cool, guys. He wore tie dye. This doctor is legit. Like he gets it, man. <laughs> but for real, I'm pumped too. I thought about that with Dennis like <laughs> right away, and I'm like, I think he's gonna be good. I imagine him being like totally like nodding his head, stone face, hearing all like the odds of like making it and the procedures and all the shit oh, that's God. going on. That was horrific sounding. He just one tear comes down and you're like, Dad's gonna be okay. He's like, no, no, I just thought of one thing. Am I gonna be able to smoke weed? And they're like, yeah. And he just yeah. wipes the tear away. He's like, okay, okay. we're good. All right. <laughs> okay. no, no, he goes, uh, oh, he, th- he literally goes, uh, oh, hell yeah. am I gonna be able to smoke weed? And the doctor's like, uh, yeah, yeah, you will be able to, you know, and he kind of explained it. And he goes, good, then we're beating this shit. Yeah. As if he wasn't. Oh, and then he put on his good. sunglasses and ended the Zoom. I fucking love then your he, father, then he, dude. That's all I needed to hear. He roped a steer with his dick. <laughs> oh, he's the yeah. best. Oh, God good. Then, like, like he wasn't going to beat it until he was allowed to smoke weed. And he's like, okay, good. Then we are beating this shit. All yeah. right, come on. He's getting in the proper mind state. I mean, marijuana is super is super valuable to the process for sure. Because even yeah, like what you're talking about with like the appetite, you really do lose it. You got to smoke that weed, get them munchies back, dude. Well, I kind of thought it was going to be just edibles, and I, I like plugged I, I I plugged him with tons of edibles mm-hmm. and the can the weed drink company that I've invested in. Hello. Uh, C A N N. I hooked him up with a ton of those. Is it C A N N or C A A N? No, C A N N. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, like cannabis. Okay. Like cannabis. Nice, nice, and, nice. Uh, yeah. and so I, I gave him a ton of that shit, and I figured that's what the doctor was going to be like, okay, yeah, but just stick with edibles or whatever. And he was right. like, no. And the doctor was like, nah, Braj, rip that shit, dog. Dude, <laughs> right. dust off doctor your zong, dude. Yeah, this guy it, won a Nobel Peace Prize? And dude, he's, <laughs> yeah, man. he's off the fucking charts. It wasn't a Peace Prize, I don't think. It was Peace Pipe Prize. Peace Pipe, That's so tight. Damn, that's what's up. Did he get the prognosis standing on an Indo board? <laughs> <laughs> you thought he won a Nobel Prize, but he just won a Nobel Prize? <laughs> he fucking kick flips his Indo board and is like, you're good. You're good, Brosh. Dude, I have the Indo board from Workaholics with all the gnar puns right here. Oh, oh hell yeah. The Indo so board pivotal. Everybody at pivotal. home, <laughs> Do an Indo board, this? they're also known as bongo boards. It's like... A, piece of wood you stand on and balance over like a wooden cylinder and you yep. kind of rock back and forth and work on your balance and we had one in the writer's room of workaholics and we wrote a bunch of stuff on it kyle that's right and here we have some of our gnar puns that are written on there just making it says yeah. margarita Ooh, hey Very i'm thirsty good. and it's okay. uh today's cinco de mayo so hey hey as we're recording this episode it is cinco de mayo and i would love a margarita would you also Yummy. like a nard boiled egg That's less so okay. but yeah okay hey wait hold on yes, maybe... points. <laughs> listen these are insane nar nar bing is that chris hardwick yes, points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we a nar dog to catch waves that's great yes points <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pizza sus? Nope. Uh, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is. Uh, no. Nah. Nope. Uh, Nar Kelly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes, points! <laughs> Um, did I say can't gnarly wakes? <laughs> yes, that's, Whoa, that's really good. That's that the works best on one levels. right there. That works that's on good. levels. Thank you Very for good. thank you for saving that one for last. Have thank we you. talked? You just reminded me about <laughs> I think allegedly season one of Workaholics. This thing called um, <laughs> Chat Roulette came out. Yes, yeah. And oh, we were really zooming gosh. on there, and Chat tra- Roulette was basically like webcamming before it became like something you could tip and like watch girls in. It was basically you would just link up with people randomly and it would be like naked dude, naked dude, naked dude, naked dude. <laughs> right. naked no, dude, not even naked dude, dude, just dude. dick. <laughs> or, or yeah, or like dick, It was dick. so bizarre. Guy like, sitting there super close to his computer and then after going like through 50, you'd find like a naked chick and be like, whoa. And then <laughs> and came out and she would have a dick. <laughs> dick. I like that we did all that, but then like you could easily just look at naked chicks online but this was thrilling. But this was the, it was a hey. whole new world. It hey, was I thrilling. I, yeah. yeah I was there click, too, guys. Click, click, click. Allegedly, we did this in the writer's room. and Allegedly. Allegedly, it was yes. thrilling. We were going and going and going and going. I can't remember if it was a guy or a girl, but somebody was like Indo boarding on it. It was a dude. It was a guy. Yeah. Yeah. It was a dude. And then we were like, and there's no sound? <laughs> I can't, I uh, can't remember. remember. I but don't we think like, so. We were like waving at him to not switch away from us because they can do that. And we like held up the Indo board. Yeah. And he was like, oh, thumbs up. And then like we did it for a couple minutes. Then whipped his dick out and panned down. <laughs> I mean, cool. the, the website cool. still has to exist, right? It's probably better than ever. I bet it got bought. It probably got bought out for its technology. It was brilliant. Oh, it was go. really brilliant. I was yeah. talking today about shit that we allegedly did in the past that like now for sure we wouldn't do. One we would probably get in all kinds of trouble for. And these are things that maybe we didn't even do that you're making up. And maybe allegedly, that's why we're saying it. Allegedly yeah. we did, allegedly we didn't. But mm-hmm. it was maybe maybe we're just telling uh, you know, funnies. funny gig. Yeah, we're telling yeah. funnies. For the, for the gigs and the chucks. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, remember when we were allegedly at uh, Comic Con and we were playing sure. beer pong with Kent Alterman, the old president of Comedy Central, and this then would we be funny. we like whipped our dicks. It was like the last uh, pi- like ball. We were losing in beer pong to. We were losing in beer pong. I thought it was Kent, the drunk history guy. Yeah, yeah it was it, Kent and drunk history homie. Yeah, I thought Derek. it was John Benjamin. Wasn't yep, it? Yep, I think it was. I, I think it was John Benjamin and Drunk History Dude. And then Kent was watching. Yeah, yeah. And Kent was watching, and he's the president of Comedy Central, essentially our big boss at right. Comedy Central. Great guy. And uh, we were playing with him, and we just all like whipped our dicks out, and we're like flapping them around. Well, so we had only one cup left. We had one cup left. We were losing, and it was like we got to do anything so they fucking can't beat us. You pulled your nuts out. I got on my mm-hmm. knees and started licking at oh. them. <laughs> 
mining. Allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dude, what? And that's what happened. Yeah, Kyle. I was over by the pool. I, I think that's a pretty common practice in, in beer pong, like the distracting, mm. distraction technique. Oh, yeah, it is. We still lost. I think he still made the shot. So you licked your friend's testicles and lost? I didn't actually lick it. I just was like flicking my tongue at it. How close were you? It was, it was like close. If, he was like, how close were you? <laughs> if anything, I was waft, I was wafting the scent of it into my mouth. If he was wafting the smell <laughs> into his own nose. I'm going to say that's almost hotter, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. That, that's a uh, kink. Yeah. I know yeah. what you're doing. Like don't getting, kick shame uh Durves. Getting uh, extra nose close. Candy. Yeah. 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 Just kind of hot breathing on on your friend's nuts. <laughs> I'm always like, hey, you guys wanna play beer pong? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanna play beer know. pong? <laughs> you can play beer pong. First you're, you fall got your t- out, you're like yeah. distracting. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sunday let's at just, 10 a.m. Oh, let's distract him. Dude, let's why distract him. Have eight cups. Let's distract him. Well, <laughs> why are you making oh, your dick mouth talk? We don't have to yet. <laughs> let's just, oh, let's distract him. You should pull your nuts out. Why are I'm you a, pulling your ball sack <laughs> over your dick? That used to be start? such a move, is pulling just your nut sack out. That was like yeah. the funny. Yeah, we called that bubble gum. Yeah, yeah. satin gum. <laughs> just kind of the skin. Just the skin of the nuts. I think I told this story at, at summer camp. Uh, one of our counselors allegedly, he like woke us all up and he had his, he had his balls out of his uh, boxer short hole. And he was like, yo, wake up, guys. Hey, and check out these new underwear I got. And we would all turn and look and his nuts would just be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it was so Ooh. funny. And he was standing over top of you just, j- just jerking off. Well, I mean, <laughs> at that point, I'm like, I might as well suck it. <laughs> He taught me how to shoot a bow and arrow. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, man. What a that cool relationship allegedly. between like an 11-year-old and probably like a 17 and 18-year-old. Just like Yee. shit's going crazy. How are camp counselors in charge? And these kids yeah. are just laughing so hard they're crying. I miss yeah. that. I miss being a kid when you would just laugh so hard that you would... You you were crying of laughter. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I I don't laugh anymore. Everything got too real. When it became the business, it's very hard to find those pure moments of joy because you're always like, should we film it? We should film this. <laughs> I had that. It was so cool to like. I was able to spend uh, about a week and a half with my family this past week, uh, kind of dealing with my dad's stuff. But it was the first time I think in my adult life that. I truly went back and it was just the four of us for like a week straight with no one else. And it's just us in a room together, just chopping it up. And we were just silly as fuck and laughing so goddamn hard. And I was like, oh yeah. Like when you're a little kid, when just like something, you're just making fun of one member of the family and everybody's (laughs) piling on and you're laughing so hard you're crying. At least least that's my family. Yeah, Yeah. They're crying, crying, but you're laughing so hard you're crying. Yeah, my mom is pretty (laughs) bent out of shape that we're making fun of her so much, but uh, it was all in good fun. We love you, Penny. Well, there's always there's always like a turning point where it's like funny until it's not. And it's like, wait, what? Yeah, it's like, okay, leave them alone. Okay. Yeah. I thought this was funny. <laughs> I thought we <laughs> totally. could keep going. Like, let's go. Totally. Yeah. This is still yeah. fertile ground for laughter. Well, that, yeah. and every family is different. That's just how my family deals with stuff is like, you have to make light out of it. And like, my dad is calling himself Cancer Dad. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so we're all calling Hashtag. him Cancer Dad. And uh, he wants to be a can f- uh, cancer fluencer or can fluencer. Is that uh, real? I'm sure well, it's real. I don't know if it's real or not, but he wants to be that when we were joking that he should be that so and get like a he's like on a bass boat and he's sponsored by Bass Pro shops right. uh, because can, like fishing is a thing you can do when you're dealing with uh, cancer treatment because it doesn't exert a lot of energy. I love the idea of Dennis doing like a little low budget commercial where he like catches cancer out of the lake. He's like, I'll be throwing this Th- back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this is a catch and release. Points. Yeah. That's awesome. Points. <laughs> I, I had a homie who got cancer and beat it. But then he like is in these like he goes to these like recovery functions or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's like, dude, like and this was not like a guy who got laid a bunch or whatever, like okay. met girls easily. <laughs> okay. And he's like, yo, post cancer, I'm cleaning up. I'm meeting these chicks who are like in recovery. We're all talking about we're all identifying with our cancers and stuff. And he's like, 
I'm killing it, dude. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, he's got a thing, you know. For sure. Yeah, For sure. he's got it in. Right. I, I mean, part of a, a community, I suppose. Jeez. Yeah. Shake what your cancer gave you. Absolutely. Shake right. what that cancer wow. gave you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going right. to go ahead and take a sip. <laughs> All right, let's take a sip. Points, yeah. points. Yeah, yeah. Shake what that cancer gave you, for sure. Yeah. Take a sip. <laughs> yeah. how, many, how many more years do I have with you guys? Mm. COVID. Yeah, What you were kind of out and about in Houston, though, huh, Adam? You guys went to a few sports games and stuff? Yeah, we did. It was cool. We went to an Astros game. That was tight because it's mm-hmm. all outside and it was all spa- spaced out. You know, we we're we're all vaxxed up, so we had our masks off, and that was that was tight. But we went to a Rockets game, which was awesome, and the Rockets actually gave us tickets, which was so fucking cool of them and so mm-hmm. nice of them. That's but right. we got we got tickets in the uh, he's a camfluencer, so we get free shit, and we got tickets in the um, I don't know what to call it, I, the restricted zone or, or what whatever, where it's the first four rows that has to get uh, rapid tested. And oh shit. Uh, has to get COVID tested and and everything. Splash zone. <laughs> it might be the splash zone. <laughs> I can't ignore yeah. that Kyle just said splash zone. <laughs> That's and a Gallagher so- show. This is a Rockets game. <laughs> Sorry. And so we're at the game, and I was so bummed because I'm like, oh, it'll be cool. Have a few beers, like sit here, eat some popcorn, you know, whatever. Watch the game. And you weren't allowed in the fourth. We're in the fourth row. You weren't allowed to eat or drink anything in the right. fourth row, but in yeah. the fifth row. One seat behind us, mm-hmm. there was a guy one seat behind us and like eight seats up. Like, so he wasn't that close to us, but uh-huh. fairly close. He was just basically mask off, eating and drinking the whole time. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so did you guys have to have masks on also? Yeah, so and we had to close? have masks the in, in entire yeah. time. It wasn't yeah. so bad, but it was uh, it was really – I wanted to go to – because I'm a big NBA fan. I wanted to go to a game – during this time because I was like, what is it like? I'm sure it's so weird. Mm -hmm. And it is super duper weird. The amount of like fan noise that they pump into the stadium to make it feel like there's people there because it's a 20,000 seat stadium or 18,000, something close to that. And there was, I think they only allowed 3,000 in. So there's like nobody there. I right. think so, the other reason they pump that stuff in is because it's so easy to like talk to the players. Like I saw on Instagram, some oh, dude yeah. was just like, "LeBron, you're a baby," and like right. you can just hear hear him. everything, oh, and you right. can truly hear everything that the players are saying to each other, and like how much they're cursing, and like they're every 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 player is just like, "Fuck, motherfucker, fuck you, fuck, fuck," <laughs> and I'm like, "This is awesome." Yeah, you can hear like skin slapping on fouls and shit. Oh yeah, you can hear their dicks hitting their thighs. <laughs> That's all we heard. It was just <laughs> skin slapping. <laughs> Blake, whoa, hey, what? Blake, you want to take a sip, pal? <laughs> Go ahead and take a sip. <laughs> That's all Blake who is listening for. Can you hear that? Oh my God, can you hear that? <laughs> oh my. I do love though. Uh, <laughs> I used to play like those, those street ball, the street ball uh, on ESPN two or whatever, and they'd be at, like some kids. beach somewhere, and they'd be like, "Check out this move." They played in slow motion on the replay, and you would just see like some dude's dick flopping <laughs> back and forth <laughs> in the mesh shorts as another dude like posts up and just takes it in the face. Yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Blake's I'm pumped. Like, <laughs> you can't uh, you can't not see it. So somebody yeah. made the decision to be like, put that. Hey, it's a good enough play. Keep it in. Put it in there. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> what is that one from? <laughs> it's from a DMX song. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey. R.I.P. Yeah. Have R. I. P. we have we been on since he died? Uh, no. Yeah. No. So much I feel has happened. Yeah. yeah. A lot of things have happened in the last couple of weeks. Right. DMX. I when he. Uh, died. I went back and listened to. Obviously, everyone did. Uh, listened to a lot of DMX. Thurs didn't. Man, man, oh man, did he have a few songs that you're like, whoa, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. He was. He had some uh, problematic he, he lyrics had some for d- sure. Demons. Yeah. Where yeah. He was, yeah, where he just hated homosexuals <laughs> in a way that you're like, well, what's going on there, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I don't remember up. those lyrics. I'm going to just say rest didn't... in peace. But yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Rest in peace. I kind of just just listened to the ones that were on the radio, to tell you the truth. No, no, no. The lyrics are next. I remember driving. I, get, I know exactly where I was because I was so shocked because I'm not really a lyric guy. I'm more of like a beat, whatever. Like if somebody like Tupac is kind of rapping, like the, the melody, 
Yeah. And I remember listening to the lyrics like and being like, well, what is he talking about? And I'm driving around the reservoir in Silver Lake, <laughs> hearing it like crystal clear for the first time and going, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. I forget which song. I th- it might be like, it's one of his p- really famous songs, like X Gun, Give It To You or something. Yeah. It, it's, it's not even like a line. It's not even like a verse. He comes back from the chorus and goes back in on it, and you're like, "Yeah, it's like this guy's got some demons." Yeah, but with that chest. said, did you see like his little like fuel, uh, funeral that went down in in New York? It was just insanity. Yeah, and I would like to say all of those people are going to come to our houses now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With that said, you guys did see the army behind him, right? <laughs> yes. Un- unbelievable. Rough Riders for life. I love DMX. I think he, I mean, I, I really liked his music. I thought it was awesome. It was super fun. The energy was so, so much fun. Yeah, the energy was great. Bum, bum, ba, na, 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 no, no, sure. na, 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 no, 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 I don't know any songs. Even my... That's that's three songs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was every song. Hold on. Bum, bum, na, 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 Talk is cheap, motherfucker. <laughs> that's every song. That's every song, and I like all of them. Yeah. Let's get it on. I mean, I when we were shitting on Blake for uh, not knowing uh, the Grateful Dead songs, I was right. like, and I was really going in on them. Blink-182 is one of my favorite bands. I was thinking, I'm like, I would be, I think I could do, I mean, I know I could do it, but I wouldn't roll off the tongue, like four, like naming four songs. Four songs? Blink songs? Yeah, because I just, I don't know the names of them. I just know yeah. all of them. I like, if you put two. it on, I know every word of every one of their songs. <laughs> I think I only have two. <laughs> I don't know. You, that, I, yeah. I don't even listen to them and I can name four. Yeah, you can song and titles and your brain and your, and your brain works better than mine, Durs. Oh no, not song titles. Yeah, but no, yeah, no it's song that's what titles. we're talking like, about. All I have in my head is "Damn It" and Adam's song. The name of the song is "Damn It." Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was their first big hit. I thought that was called from "Can't Hardly Wait." That's just uh, yeah. that's called "Damn It." Yeah, that's called dude. "Damn It," bro. They're fucking punk. That's a sick song, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like a drink. Punk. Yeah, they they fucking rule. They're correct. And then the other one is the emotional uh, Adam song. Yeah, where you talk about spilling apple juice in the hall and stuff. Uh, apple juice in the hall. Please tell mom this is not her fault. Right. Mm. It's really, really a heavy track. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I'll I'll do a first take back. You know why don't we get into it? Uh, take backs and apologies. <laughs> I, I will take back that it was uh, aggressive to ask him to name four songs but man i would have accepted i i believe i we can go back and check the tape i said you even you can even hum it motherfucker right I, nice. yes. did you say did because you, do you, no, i believe do you have I said, to say motherfucker in that he did situation? in that instance no i just like i like it in that instance i feel like he had to yeah okay because yeah. right. we're just putting him on blast and that's part of it yeah. i was just checking um, that's cool so check the tapes but yeah uh you know four songs you could you could hum them you could sing them but you're also mm. not listening to Blink right now a ton. And, and Blake looked mm. like he was diving in pretty deep recently. What right. are two other Blink song titles? We got two. I mean, oh, all all the small things, Carousel, What's My Age Again. Where are you? Where are you? Right. And oh, I'm carousel? so sorry. Yeah. What's, What's Carousel? Really uh, M&M's. <laughs> What's Carousel? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, how does carousel go? Carousel. 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 <laughs> I, I don't give a carousel. She kissed me on a carousel. I went down to the store again. <laughs> well, I see that's the thing is if that was playing, I know that's a song. And if that was playing, I would know, I w- could say every word to the song. But I right. don't know song titles very well. Right. So, even even with one of my favorite bands, I, right, I couldn't. Yeah. I would have a hard time, even though I know all of their music. Well, so to be fair, you're that means you're just. I'm stupid. stupid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Well. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. name uh-huh. four different. songs. Just song titles. Songs in general. <laughs> songs. <laughs> just that exist. Uh, happy see? birthday. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. A B C. Twinkle yeah. twinkle. Yep. And row 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 your motherfucking boat. Um. And then and then I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> right. And uh, what's another one? God, what's, yeah. uh, what are songs? What are songs? Uh, <laughs> okay, any song. By the way, Twinkle song. Twinkle and ABC are the same song. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, same okay. Yep. Which, Which is, is important. 
that's a mind blower when you first realize that. That is. Is a, that for is that for real, Bam? Yeah, ready. Yeah. You sing ABCs at the same time. I'll sing Twinkle Twinkle. Okay, ready? good because I don't know the words of Twinkle Set, Twinkle. Go, ready? Go. Twink, a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Nine. Now I know my ABCs. Hey, X don't give it to you. Sing with a frog. Was that Kyle saying that? What? X gonna give it to you? The X gonna give it no, to you? No, that was no, me. I was <laughs> genuinely singing the ending of it. X gonna give it to you. Oh my wow, god, I really thought that cool. was a sound thing, or I don't know what I thought that was. So you you think I sound cool? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Thanks, yeah. dude. That was the that. that was the first joke I remember laughing so hard that I would fucking cry my eyes out as a little kid, learning mm. the ABCs. We'd go through all the ABCs and then at the end you'd say like uh, next time, won't you sing with me? You know that part? But yeah. what we would do in my car, we'd go through the whole thing. It's all about the setup. And then we say, next time, won't you sing with a frog? <laughs> and oh, it would crack oh, me up. Good. And Boy, you could change oh, it every dang. time. Not every points. time you change it, you'd be like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You'd be like, next time, won't you sing with a monkey? And it's like, oh. <laughs> it was wow, just a great. Really wow. Good. That is Kyle. pretty good, huh? That, that was really uh, special, yeah. dude. I loved it. Hey, frog was frog was the funniest by far for me. That's why I remember that. But it was like it's a funny word. It was just that confusion attack hmm. at the end of a giant setup that fucking cracked me up. And I wonder if we can look at the analytics and see how many people tuned out during Kyle's story. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Check yeah, it out. just if we look at the if we have iHeartRadio, look at the analytics and how many people just decided to stop listening to the podcast fifty minutes in because of. I'd like to do. An early apology. I'm just knee deep <laughs> in, in fucking toddlers. That is true. I'm okay. knee deep in a baby. I'm true. basically handling about. I got three 50 pound dogs, a baby, and a two and a half year old, and I'm changing diapers all day. All right. <laughs> I'm living in a nightmare. I, it's, I'm living in a nightmare. I, I yeah. think I'm fucking dealing with like six pounds of shit on a daily basis. That is true. So That's now you're 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 de- you're talking to a bunch of grown ass men, and you're like ABCs and yeah. uh, how fun. Rocks. And you want to go on a walk? How fun it is to end it with frog and how funny right. that is. Exactly. And then you talk to like your three buddies who are damn near 40 years old and right. you tell that same story thinking it's going to get some chucks and gigs yeah, and, and, it, and it doesn't. And yeah. I understand that. Or at least a smile or something, you know, something less critical from three of my best friends. <laughs> sure. Hey, I love you. I love you, bud. Uh, I, that, you know, that wasn't the best story, but I right. still love you. I and, know. uh, and, you know, I, I tell stories that suck, too, sometimes. It was a child thing that happened with me. What's up, Blake? When you say, next time will you sing with a frog, do you go through the alphabet as a frog in a frog voice? Uh, you know, my memory stops after... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is getting worse. That, that makes the game very fun for me. I will. You know what I will do? I agree with you, and I'll do that. I'll do that with my kids. Next time will you sing with a British person? Right. I be I know the title of this podcast episode. Yeah. The guys do bad accents again, again. Again, again, again. Next time won't you sing with... With Casey Affleck. I think I solved the case. What's a Boston accent? I don't know how to do it. Maybe we don't do that this time. Elemental. There it is. Blake's got it. Blake's got the Casey. I was working on this movie and they wanted me to do a. I wasn't working. I was like writing the movie and you're watching a movie. I was watching a movie, but they were like, w- they really wanted it set in uh, Boston. And I was so scared of doing a Boston accent yeah. because that's the, like, first of all, people from the Northeast are very particular about their accents. And if you get it a little off, they will fucking shit they'll, down your throat. They'll find yeah, you. you gotta get they it. will find yeah. you. They will hunt you down. Right. Uh, so that, that, they will lick at your balls. That one, uh, that one is is a very scary one to do. I think if you're yeah. not from there, it's hard. I watched The yeah. Departed the other day, and the accent's insane. How the way right. they say cops, 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 cops. yeah, cops. he's a cop, and you're like, but it has to roll off the tongue. If if they cops. can tell that you're like gearing up to say cops, <laughs> right. they're like. Fuck this it's guy. It's just a weird character choice where every <laughs> everything you're saying, you're thinking. Also, straight. You're like, cool. How do you say that? 
Cool. Yeah, you're just moving your face way too much. <laughs> like, all right, it seems Cat. like you're really prepared to say this word. Maybe throw it away a little bit. <laughs> Are you saying co-op? <laughs> yeah, just kind of, you know, throw it away. You're just saying co-op. How do, just, how do they yeah, say you're co-op? You're just saying cops. You're just like saying you're, cops. Just throw it away. Sounds like you're saying co-op. Like, we're not we're not at a REI. Co-ops. Your only line, you're, you guys are, like, uh, making drugs out of your house. The cops bust in. Your big line is cops. And you just got to sh- kind of <laughs> shout at the door, but throw <laughs> it away a little That's bit. That's hella hard. That's his only line. Okay, Kyle, call action. <laughs> okay, ready, and action. Co-ops! <laughs> You have to wait for the for, for the door this. to open. <laughs> you have to wait for the door to open, all right? Go you can't okay. just yell it. You guys. have to wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, hit me, Kyle. Okay, right. okay. Just remember, he's going to open the door. And so am I, is there a noise when the door opens? Or Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're rehearsing all the noise. All, all right. right, ready, mm-hmm. and Am I the sound action. guy? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, there is. Roll sound. Got it. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> All right, ready, and action. It's co-ops. <laughs> and uh, this was an episode of... <laughs> We're back. <laughs> well, see, <sighs> see, I think that was uh, almost too good. Yeah, so I was trying to do a bad uh, impression, but I actually nailed it and probably uh, got the golden popcorn from that one. Yeah. Yeah, you've good. got co-ops. There's co-ops in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's co-ops! I added an it's. I took an artistic license and added an it's. That felt wow. natural. I mm-hmm. liked it. I yeah. think you fucked up. I think the person <laughs> like, actually, it's cops. We don't want Actually, it's, it's just cops. It's You're not saying it's, co-ops? Uh, and uh, yeah. that's not what we need. Can mm-hmm. we just make them American? Is it cool if an American lives in Boston? Is that okay? An American in Boston. <laughs> if an American lives in Boston. Oh, fucking dumbass. Yeah. I was going to say, I can't it's believe we're American. still on here I'm for such this. a fucking dumbass, dude. Yeah, but I'm glad I'm glad we did because Oof. Kyle said it's an American in can an American be in Boston? Bro, yeah. six and, pounds and then of after shit that, every day. You couldn't say what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you what idiots! <laughs> what happened now? Uh, oh, God, oh, Kyle. Boy. Hey, bro, oh, boy. I don't think you understand how tired I am. How tired we are you? get okay. it, bro. Okay. We get it. All right. All right. Dude, All right. Well, you're I just tired, want a little man. empathy from my bros. Congratulations. You're tired. Hey, man. Wow, man. Hey. I don't tired. give cool. a fuck. I'm tired too, man. (laughs) Oh, there we go. Maybe get rid of one of your thousand dogs. Do you guys still have all the lizards? Uh, Yes, but I don't deal with snakes. I don't deal with them. Feed the dogs to the snakes. I'm the. I I I do the dogs. I do the three dogs and the two babies. I ran over a snake with my bicycle yesterday. That's the big news over over here. Oh, are we talking bikes? Yeah, we're back on with some bike talk. Let's sneak this in. Blake and I got invited to the specialized shop in Santa Monica to ride. So jealous of you guys. Some Mm. e-bikes. Had no idea. We show up and the dude is fully geared out and is like, "Uh, you're wearing pants and just casual clothes. Are you ready for this two-hour bike ride? (laughs) What? Yeah, it was hilarious. I was just coming off getting the Johnson and Johnson backs and oh, nice. <laughs> rolled up and the homie was in full regalia and he's like, You ready to ride? I'm like, I don't know. I've only ate gummy bears. I didn't know this was a thing though. But yeah. Jeremy so took us out on a killer ride. And uh, uh yeah. it was tight. These e bikes are next level. I wanna get I wanna get one of those. Yeah, those things are pretty Pretty incredible. Yeah. I do, uh, when I look at them, I am like... Is that a Boston accent? Yeah, I think that was Boston. <laughs> I do think that uh, they're cheating. It's always, it's all, uh, every time I see one, I'm like, you fucking cheater. Just ride the bicycle. But yeah. what is cool about it is you can get a good workout in doing it. You just go farther. You right. know, you just like, or you can yeah. do like the incline a little bit. Yeah, it's, can, a, it's yeah. an assisted crank, essentially. Like it doesn't turn on unless you're pedaling, it just makes you twice as powerful or whatever. Yeah, um, that's great. It's an assisted and crank. Con- and now the construction has started at my house again. Yeah, we... All right. Durs, we like scaled a mountain easily, like didn't even have to stand up, just remained seated. And these other dudes guiding us were like hoofing it like out of the saddle and we were just like, they're like, you guys good? And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. uh, Were they in e-bikes as well or just reg bikes? Uh, one was a rig bike, one was an e-bike, but it was off. And Blake and I were just turbo. Nice. <laughs> you guys weren't, weren't getting to work out at all. You guys nah. were like feet off the pedal. Just I, had, I had just worked out, showered, and gone to the store. And then they're like, okay, let's go for a ride. Two, three hours? 
And yeah, we're just like, okay. And I, I, you know, as I said, vaxxed Johnson and Johnson, the blood clots, you know, it's just, I was really worried. I was really worried about my, about my yeah, cat. Uh, are we that's all vaxxed stressful. up now? How is that going, guys? You guys are all vaxxed up? Don't know what to do? Second one is tomorrow for me. I can't wait Ooh. to get knocked on my ass. Nice. I know. Yeah, it was the, after the second one. That day, I was fine. It was the following day is when I was uh, feeling like shit after my mm -hmm. second one. Mm -hmm. um, but it, everybody reacts different. Chloe, my fiance, she, the day after her second vax, she had to fly to Hawaii to shoot a movie. And so I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for you. You're going to feel like, like flying to Hawaii with like a fever and chills and sweaty. It's going to be a nightmare. Right. And, uh, and she felt absolutely fine, and That's I was, and I was a total mess. So my yeah. shit kicked uh, in. Cool. Like we did the bike ride, it was pretty long, but I got mine at my shot at ten thirty, and then right around five o'clock when I was driving home from the ride, it just it hit me. Beow, my beow, body beow, was just beow. like. What, what'd you feel like? You just got like the extreme muscle soreness, like like a flu, and then uh, yeah, just walked through my door like laid on the floor, started to shiver for about 15 minutes, and then then it was just kind of like sore. And then right. in the next morning, I was cool. All good, yeah. 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 I like woke Wild. up and there was like a puddle in my bed. Like yeah. like when you have like a horrible uh, like right. fever and shit. So, right. and then right. I just Do you had have chills. Nightmares? Uh, no. Oh. Well, vacuum well, I also I uh, uh, kill my nightmares with yeah. um, weed and z -Quil. So I, I really have no dreams. But, dude, I've been dropping those gummies. I take nice, two dude. gummies right before <laughs> bed and have the craziest dreams. Really? Yeah. Oh, I do not. Yeah. That's why like I take them because I'm like the dream master, like That's Freddy awesome. style. Dude, That's you need to get cool. one of those dream control machines. Those seem so fun. I've always wanted to try one. Lucid hey, dreaming. Life mm -hmm. is my dream control machine. Hey, Bro, you know lucid what? I'm living in a nightmare. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what is a what is a dream machine? What the fuck is that? It's like basically what it looked like was this light bulb in the middle of basically like a shade with with shapes cut out of it that spins at night. And then I guess when the lights hit your your eyes when they're closed while you're sleeping, your brain starts to recognize that that the light fluttering and it's like, "Oh, I'm asleep. I'm dreaming right now. I can right. I can now control what I'm thinking, but I'm still mm. sleeping. Well, how can you go to sleep with this fucking light hitting your eyes? I feel like oh, I would well, not be able to. I think it keeps you in that that zone where you're like half you asleep, know. half awake. Dang. Mm. Okay. Because at that point, it's all about controlling your dreams. Like back in the day when I, I've never done the lucid dreaming, but I did do some research and it, they didn't have a dream machine back then. But what you could do is have a friend with a flashlight when you go to bed, yeah. like trigger the light. On yeah. your eyes. Like pouring lotion on you. and Draw dicks on your face. So then yeah. you're like, and then you wake up and you're like, oh, okay, I was dreaming. Okay. And after, in, <laughs> after enough nights of, of that, you could essentially turn a light on, uh -huh. like put it on a timer and be inside of your dream lucid. Well, maybe, uh, well, we need to get a dream machine sponsor. We all do it. And then we all come yeah. in here and talk about our lucid dreams. I mean, whatever happened to just playing Dungeons and Dragons? Okay. <laughs> that would be a dream to play with you guys. I yeah, would be very I would play with you guys. That. I would like to learn uh, and play with you guys. I, I feel like Durs and I don't know uh, any anything like that. So I, I, I would know, like for, for you to uh, initiate us into your nerd culture. Yeah. I, I'm not. And I've I only done it. it like I've only done it like once or twice. You know how to do it, Jersey? Yeah, you just build a character, and there's like certain points for like dexterity and strength, and I'm really strong. My name is Jeff with a G. Do you know how you get those points? Uh, you, you roll dice, tons of dice. Yeah, yeah. dude. Perfect. Yes, you roll dice. That's right. Yeah. Um, See points. <laughs> it's science. <laughs> yes, points. Yes. <laughs> uh, any take backs, apologies, yeah. or giveaways? Um, <laughs> I feel like we already <laughs> did them. <laughs> hey, Manuel, I would just... Uh, is compliments one of them? Don't call me Manuel. Manuel, I would like to compliment <laughs> Manuel. Manuel, or better known as Dennis D, man. Put up yeah, a yeah. good fight, brother. We Straight love up. you. Yep. Happy to be uh, back and talking about it, and we just he, know you're going to give this cancer hell, brother. Straight up. Second thought. He, yeah, he will. He listens to the podcast, too. I, I caught him taking a shit listening to the podcast. Uh, nice. So All right. He doesn't really know how his uh, AirPods work, so half the time it's just... 
playing on his phone with his AirPods in his ear. But yes. uh, AirPods on the toilet sounds dangerous. <laughs> is so Those great. are going in the bowl. Love ya. Well, he loves it. He doesn't believe that I think you're my favorite actor, Kyle. So I've had to correct him. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, he can see through your bullshit. No, he's that's good. verified. No, dude. I'm I I I'm stood by it. We were. He's good. He's your father, dude. He he can see through your shit. Who's your second favorite actor? Adam. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> oh wow! You put me. It's not even the favorite out of this group. Have you seen The Departed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Big fan. Adam, come yeah. on. Your dad is correct. He knows you. He knows you're fucking with me. He knows you're fucking with the world. I'm not fucking with you, dude. I think you're a really talented actor. You really make me laugh. You make me question my own abilities as an actor, right. and uh, and I think you're very talented. I I fucking love you, dude. By the way, Kyle, it's not like, um, you know, like we all have like our favorite friend that might not necessarily be our best friend. Exactly. Right. right? So you're his favorite actor. You might not be the best actor. So there true. you go. <laughs> all right. Go. So he just likes my moves. You just like my moves? You could even be the worst. Nope. You could, you could even be the I worst. I think you're the best, Kyle. <laughs> so that's I'm doubling, right. tripling down on it, dude. Uh, He's your favorite yeah. best actor. I see all your moves and I don't, I, don't, I would, wouldn't even know how to approach your acting moves. Yeah. You'd have to deprogram. Other acting. Uh, I, I look at other actors. I'm like, oh, I right. could steal that little move. I can add that to my tool, my tool chest. Yours, I'm like, I don't even know. That wouldn't fit in my tool chest. My tool chest is not equipped to handle those moves. So congratulations to you. Hey, man. Thank you. I'll take that. I will say Kyle would always be the most prepared. You were the most prepared on set always. Well, I didn't have to work like every fucking day like you guys. I'd just come in and fucking, you know... So I'd have time to like look at it. You guys were like, how many, how many hundreds of lines do I need to say today? I actually found myself. <laughs> That's fucking tough. Because I'm kind of dealing with that now on gemstones that I'm not in it every day. And I find it harder uh, than when you're there every day and you just find the rhythm and you know yeah. the character so well. And it's just like putting on like a, a comfortable jacket or whatever. Right, like you right. really, and you, I was able to on Workaholics just look at the sides, memorize it within a few minutes, and then just go and do it. Right. And on this, I'm having a much harder time because I'm not doing it every day, and it's not the muscle that I'm working every day. Got to fire right. the engine up. So I'd like to uh, apologize to uh, David Gordon Green, Jody Hill, and Dana McBride <laughs> for, yeah. for casting me in this role uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, because I'm having a hard time with it. But yeah. no, it, I'm having a blast. Nice. great. It's going to be great. You know, if you ever want to run lines, bro, I'm here. You know, we, we can go. get on Zoom. I'll run lines. Fuck, dude. With the legend himself? I'll run Dang. lines with you, playboy. I'd be too embarrassed. If you want to feel super insecure about yourself, yeah, run yeah. lines with Kyle. Yeah, with the best actor. You remember back in the day when we used to do that shit? You'd have to go do some auditions and we'd run lines in your room? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I, I love cool. that shit, man. Mm. Hell yeah. We could do that. I don't care. I ain't above that now. Right on. I'd be down to clown. Right on. Well, I would like to thank you guys for uh, letting me talk a little bit about my dad. And, you know, it's weird that uh, on This Is Important, we usually just bullshit and talk about fun stuff. But, you know, every once in a while, real life creeps in. And I want to thank you guys for, for letting me uh, broach that subject a little mm. bit. And, uh, and big shout out to Dennis D for fighting the good fight. And we all think that uh, you're going to fucking kill this cancer and crush it, my man. Love you, buddy. Yeah. He might even, like cure cancer that's what we think yeah that's what we think right and then they have to like operate on him and take all his blood and stuff but it'll be well they are doing really weird cool shit where they're taking his cancer tumor his cells mm -hmm. and injecting it into rats and nice. then growing the tumors in those rats and then testing different cancer treatments on the rats to see what in case the radiation and chemo don't work mm -hmm. the right like the more alternative stuff. Alternate method. Uh, on these rats, which I think is uh, so cool. And I'm team testing on rats and animals of all sorts for anything. Right, so right. I'm, I'm <laughs> This is important. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's kick ass. Let's inject these rhinos. I want to write a pilot about those rats. Yeah, I was going to say, there's your cartoon right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cancer, Cancer rats. rats. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's good. Uh-huh. Mm. Getting that good juice. Well, mm. that is important. All right. Does anyone else have any take backs, apologies, or giveaways? Oh, I'd like to thank you guys on the heels of that. Very genuine. I'd like to thank you guys for allowing me a little bit of a moment to talk about my alphabet uh, joke when I was a child. That Absolutely. felt yeah. really good to get off the Sorry, chest. Sorry, that's a take back or a thank you? 
That's a thank you. That's a th- oh th- uh, sure. Yeah, I was, just asking, I was just wondering. You got yeah, it. No, yeah, <laughs> not a take back. You're um, not taking that back. You are. Huh. You're. You're thanking us. No, I live my life no regrets. I live my nice. life no regrets. No regrets. Uh, that's the only way to only way to live. D- and that's okay. tattooed on your body. Uh, yeah, somewhere you're gonna have to find it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll apologize quickly for <sighs> the construction happening in the background. We can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we can't hear good. it. Good. Oh, great. That's because I have this little fucking stuff everywhere. Yeah, I'd like to compliment your sound today because yeah. we yeah. cannot hear your construction. Well, D- Durs has had shitty sound on multiple podcasts. We don't really. It's just different. It's just different sound. It's different sound. <laughs> and it's all, most people think it's not good, but yeah. it is different. It's right. definitely different. Right. It's, it's, like mum, it's like mumblecore. He's got a new setup and uh, he's clicked the right button. So the sound's going to, uh, you know, come through nice and clear. And we're, always, I would like to uh, thank him for hope. doing all that. Always thank problems. you, Anders, for your service. Th- thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, and this has me. been a, another episode of... We're back. This, this is, this is important. 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 We're back. <laughs> We're back. <laughs>